And the reason why we want to group information is that imagine our population size was 150 and you were asked to find the, the, the population mean. It would mean 150 points and you keep on adding divided by 150. This is going to be a lot of work. One plus plus and plus and plus and plus. Too much work. So instead of us dealing with ungrouped data, which might be tedious, but enough for us to get the intuition of concepts, we then begin to arrange data in grouped format. This way, it will be easier and quicker for us to deal with uh, statistics or parameters of interest. The first parameter of interest could be a population mean. And the population mean, as we know, denoted by the population mean denoted by the Greek letter mu is given by a summation of all observations divided by the number of observations. But now that we have data that is grouped, at this point we are going to imagine we do not know any of the raw data. All we know is this grouped information. So what we then do is to find the mean, this is nothing but the frequency multiplied by the mid mark. It means all the data points, 0, 1, and 2 points, instead of them being counted for a 0 and for a 2, everything is going to be counted for a 1. Instead of us considering two zeros, a 1, and three twos, we consider this part of the ungrouped data, this part of six ungrouped points, to be just six ones in between the midpoint of the interval. So this is the reason why our mu now is going to be denoted n subscript 1 multiplied by x subscript 1. What this is, our x is the middle mark, our n is the frequency. So n times x that would be n1 and x1 plus n2 x2 plus n3 multiplied by n x3 finally the last class is n4 multiplied by x4 all together divided by our population size, capital N. And this simply means what we have now is mu equal to N1 is the first frequency is 6 multiplied by the midpoint, which is 1, plus second frequency is 6 multiplied by the midpoint, which is uh, 4 plus the second frequency is 1 multiplied by the midpoint 7 plus the second frequency is 2 multiplied by the midpoint which is 10. So we have got all these four terms in this equation all together we're going to divide this by our population size n which is equal to 15. Therefore, mu is equal to 6 plus 24 plus 7 plus 20, altogether divided by 15. On a calculator, if you want to add this, that's 44 plus 6, 50 plus 7, 57, divided by 15. Do the arithmetic on a calculator to find what the this is.